in Eatonville. In just the last 30 minutes, we have learned Governor Rick Scott has suspended Eatonville Mayor Anthony Grant. We were there this morning as he walked out of jail, arrested after on more than 20 charges. Now we're hearing from a woman who tells News 6 she was pressured into voting for Grant in last year's election. News 6 reporter Nadine Yana shares her story. In the shower and I'm playing golf. So while the mayor was getting his golf game on, we were getting results and getting answers from town councilman Eddie Cole about what the town plans to do if the mayor is stripped of his seat. Uh, we don't know how that worked. We haven't been on this road. And my, our, our main thing right now is to make sure we do the day to day operations for this community and keep it whole. The indictment showing the mayor and two others, James Randolph and Mia Knowles, used intimidation and manipulation to gather votes in last year's tight election, naming this man's daughter as one of the six people. Grant coerced. Yeah, she's still a child. She don't know what's going on. The family didn't want to be identified, but this father says Grant loaned his 22-year-old daughter money for a bus ticket. I think the man was nice enough to do, do his friend a favor. But he feels after this mess. Friends and politics don't mix. I was able to hear the story directly from his daughter on the phone. So you guys filled out the ballot together, though. She told me today after loaning her the $10 bus ticket, Grant actually came by her home, told her to get her absentee ballot, and filled it out with her, right in her driveway. She told me he told her exactly who to vote for, but was adamant her vote wasn't a favor in return for the bus ticket. Still, her father believes his daughter, voting for one of the first times in her life, was taken advantage of. Uh, and I feel like if he did do that, he manipulated a young person that didn't know nothing about what's going on so in that aspect he's wrong that was Nadine Giannis reporting today the governor's office told News 6 that he is reviewing whether to strip the mayor of his seat and today we asked a town councilman what will happen if the mayor is suspended hear his response tonight at 6